Hello guys, welcome to Pia Sangyo, your one-stop shop for K-pop and Asian dramas. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's get started. Revolutionary Sisters Episode 44 Part 1 Asa loses the consolation match and uh, in the car, he tells his wife that thank you for giving me one more chance and she cries silently. Dose tells him that the judges were deaf to not to pass him to the next round and asks Asa what did Guangxik say. Asa tells him that she did not say anything and tells him that she will always be by his side even though he's just a fallen star. At the restaurant, Guangxik tells Dei Cheng and Theory that she will not let Asa be a fallen star and and tells that they will work hard to encourage him to take part in the next audition. At the night cooking place, Guangxik sleeps holding a tub of cabbages but manages to not to fall but in that process she hurts her back. At work, Aesil gets an earful from a client for misplacing the CPU. He and Dei Chen manages to find the CPU and give it back to the owner. At home, Guangxik brings in the fan club parcel and forces a least interested Acer to cut it open. It has a mic, jacket, a letter and some other stuff. She reads the letter which says, We want to see you on TV. Please sing with this mic and wear this jacket while doing so. Aesul is least interested in giving another try. Guangxi gets a nosebleed and Aesul gets worried but she tells him that uh, it was much worse before marriage now it got better and she leaves from there saying that it feels good after having a nosebleed after a lot of hard work she did. Later at night he sees her sweating and checks her temperature. It's normal and then he sees the patch on her neck and takes the hand fan and uh, gives her some cool hair using the hand fan. Aesul and Guangxi later visit Dolce and gets shocked seeing the demolished notice and tells him to shift in with them. Dolce tells he checked in few nursing homes and gives the brochure of happy nursing home and tells them he even paid the deposit to it using the money Aesil gave him the other day. He strictly refuses moving in with them or with Cholso. Aesil leaves in anger saying that if he goes to nursing home then that's the end for them. Guangxik shares this news with Bongja and Cholso. They get worried about Dolce's situation. Aesil calls Dolce and tells him he will drop in some fresh vegetables the next day and sees Basil over there. They go for some drinks and Basil apologizes Aesil for snatching his rights from him. He tells how his wife and he fought when he told he will give some living expenses and pay hospital bills of his dad. Aesul tells him not to worry about the living expenses and just visit their dad from time to time. A drunk Basil visits Dolce but couldn't knock on the door. Dolce who came out for a break after all the working on dolls sees him. They both hug each other and cry. Bongja visits Dolce. There, two men tell her to vacate the house and that no one will wait for Dolce to move to demolish it. Dolce is packing his bags to move into the nursing home. Bongja manages to convince him to move in with Cholsu and takes him along with her. Cholsu bought a TV for Dolce so that he will not be bored at his apartment. Aesul and his wife going shake visit Dolce with some comforters, spoons, chopsticks and sundae. Cholsu and Dolce get jelly of each other and has a good time with their kids. At home, Aesul hugs Guangxik and tells her that she's the best wife and they promise each other to take care of each other's father's wealth for the rest of their lives. Aesul checks his fan club. When Dei Chung comes, he keeps his phone aside and Dei Chung tells him he can check it out because it's his fan club and tells him about the next audition and how badly Guangxik wants him to be a singer. But Aesul tells though he wants to be a singer, he can't have hope on a bubble which can burst at any time. Guangxik tells to Theory that they will hold a lunch party for the fan club members next week and Theory tells her it's good because right now they are making cranes for Aesil. Aesil goes to Guangxi's restaurant and it's closed. He calls her and she tells him that she's at the headquarters. He then goes to headquarters and waits for her outside and he calls her. She tells him that she's back home and at home she tells him that he would have called her because uh, she actually left using the back door. Aesil is on call with Dei Cheng. He tells him that he will be home soon. 
He sees Guang Shik running somewhere and follows her to the factory basement. They see each other in shock. He hugs her and tells her that he did not know that she was working this hard. A worker over there tells that there is no time for this and they have to make food for the people and uh, he offers to help them and he starts to help them. Daejin calls him and they switch on the TV. Azel's audition is on TV. The anger tells that though Azel could not make it to the next round, the judges were super impressed with his performance that they decided to air it on the TV. At home, Cholsu and Dolce also watch it and get teary. Azel and Gwang Sheik run to Cholsu's house to celebrate it and Azel hugs his dad heartily. That's it with today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Until then, tata, bye bye, take care.